I was actually born and raised in South America, uh, Venezuela, so I speak Spanish uh, natively. Uh, but I moved to Vancouver when I was 16, uh, and then I studied UBC. Afterward, because my dad is from Hong Kong, actually, I speak Cantonese. Uh, my mom is from Malaysia, so I have a quite multicultural background. Time in Taiwan and San Francisco. So I actually live in many different places. So I think this is very important because uh, it allowed me to be multicultural and be able to adapt me to different cultures very easily. And adaptability is actually something that I think every entrepreneur should, should have because you're gonna run into many different situations that you probably never have thought of. Initially, I, I, I started studying electrical engineering because I like computers. I was thinking, but I never thought about what would I wanna do afterwards. By doing some internships, I found out, oh, okay, um, I'm gonna spend time with some cables and wiring, and, and that I, I felt that I did not like it. So I tried to spend more time in software, so I self-taught myself doing software. Basically, all the electives that I chose was focusing on software and business. I graduated and I changed my career in Sunday, and I looked for jobs in software engineering. It was tough because they keep looking at my electrical engineering degree, but with uh, by creating a, a really um, wide array of portfolio, and by doing a lot of freelances, I was able to show that I was able to switch my career. So I landed a job in TVB.com. The boss back then in TVB decided to quit. Uh, she took me to Next Media. She went to Next Media, she took me with her. In, in that Next Media was a chaos. Uh, my boss told me to quit. And she said, oh, I, I, I found your company, I invest in your company. And then we created a different company, not Shopline. And we did that company for about 1.5 years. It did not work well. We failed completely. Uh, but at the end, we were able to find somebody who bought the company. Afterwards, I decided to, to embark into Shopline as a new journey. Uh, I went through many different companies, Superstructure, International Company, Deloitte. Uh, I went through the most local companies that you can ever have in Hong Kong, Theory and Expedia. Uh, I learned so many things inside. Uh, but most importantly, not even by just going in there and work, you have to be observer on your surroundings. I was working there as an engineer, but I actually was able to figure out how they operate inside out by just observing and by digging into more information, asking colleagues, oh, why are you guys doing this and that? I was very curious about how they operated and not just focusing on myself. I know a, a few people who uh, started the company before having experience in jobs, having encountered many different problems that I already avoided because I have the experience of working in big companies. But I guess I was more pushed into it rather than, um, rather than oh, I'm prepared. And then if you wait until you're prepared to start your journey, then it's too late. Because you will never be so prepared to start it. But having said that, you should have you should you need to still be somewhat prepared. When I started Shopline uh, with my co-founders, we had an agreement saying that okay, we're gonna do this for 1.5 years, one year. I think that's uh, expectation management with your co-founder. That you have to know, you have to have a time frame. Uh, you cannot just work until like forever. Uh, we found, I found my co-founder in a uh, competition called Startup Weekend. Uh, if you guys heard of that competition, pretty helpful. Uh, but we did not work in the same team. Uh, because the idea to go to that competition is not to build the idea and win it. It's to actually meet people and try to find people you think you can work with. And you can try to work something out with them. Finding a co-founder is kind of like marrying a wife or a husband. We argue all the time. And arguing is actually very important. If you have, if you're in a relationship and you haven't argued, that means there's something wrong with it. Uh, you have to argue because otherwise, like you're one year ahead of the relationship and nothing had happened, uh, you don't know when it's going to explode, and you don't know what uh, where is the bottom line of each one. But it's also important in finding a co-founder, not only in chemistry, it's also finding someone that can uh, complement your skill set. Don't find someone that has the exact same skill set that you have. 
uh, because it's useless. I think that in each uh, stage of the startup, you need different skill sets. Uh, even right now, I still keep learning different skill sets that I need by the stage that I'm right now. Uh, and you have to keep up with the pace uh, of the company. Otherwise, like you probably have to find somebody else to replace uh, that position that you're in. Um, so I think keep learning in the journey is very important. When I was in uh, TBB, and then my manager wanted to promote me to the same level that he was. I was talking to two levels right away. Uh, he wrote to HR, submitted the request. HR rejected. He said, you cannot, you cannot promote someone to two levels right away after less than one year of coming to the job. But because I performed, I did perform. Um, but they decided not to because of the policies. And I'm like, this is stupid, right? So by having that experience, I'm not allowing that, that thing to happen within the company. And many different experiences that I had in other companies, for example, I keep asking, my, my, salary, my salary pay was very low, and I know I'm overperforming up on salary, and I know people who are underperforming have, have, are, having, are getting paid higher than me. And then I asked my manager, hey, can I have a, a, a salary raise? And then he's like, yeah, I'm looking into that. And then I asked like 10, 20 times, he's like, oh, I'm looking into that. And then I was like, oh, and I, tell him, I found a new job. And I said, I'll pay you whatever you want. And I'm like, oh, it's BS, right? I'm gone, right? But by that time, so I'm not, if somebody asks me about salary raise and I, I believe it's worth it, I will do something, I will make action. But the most important thing, if I believe it's not worth it, I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you what you have to work on to, to get it to that point. I think hard work is very important, uh, super important. Some people say hard work uh, overcomes talent. It doesn't matter if you have talent, if you don't, don't put hard work on it, it doesn't work. Um, so spend a lot of time on working on things that you love. Uh, always try to be empathetic. Empathetic meaning that you have to care about for all those people's feelings, put yourself into other people's shoes. That's very important. Because you're gonna work with a lot of people. Uh, right now, I'm managing a hundred people company. Uh, everybody has different thoughts. Everybody has a different story. Everybody has different problems. Uh, you're gonna run with a lot of different people. So be focused. So, focus is all about priorities. You you can say that you spend a lot of time. You want to have an idea. You want to start something. You want to work on something. That you may not have to. You may want to focus on your career, right? You may go work for a big company. Or your focus will be, uh, I want to get married, or and I want to have a stable life. That should be your focus. That's different. So you have to have your priorities set. When I entered university, uh, I stopped playing video games. Oh. Because I thought that it was a waste of time to play video games. I, I could have uh, continued playing video games, and I thought, what does that give me? So, I stopped playing the games, I had a lot of hobbies, I, I was into photography, I was into, um, I was into a lot of stuff. But then I stopped all of them, and I focused on what I thought it matters to my life, uh, and I thought my career was the most important one. So I focused everything, I channeled everything into, into that. Uh, even though you might have different focus, I did put it into priorities, what's number one, what's number two, uh, which is very important.